Hello everybody, do you want realistic racing like this here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway? If you do, you came to the right place. And here we are, this is a tutorial on how to get realistic 2024 racing in the Cup Series at Las Vegas, so let's get into the video. Alright, first things first, there is three links in the description you can download. First off is to get the uh, 2022 mod, so you'll click download there. Uh, this gives you the newest next-gen mod. If you want the Bush Class cars, which is what I use for this video, use this link at the 2024 uh, sim and download that. Thanks to all these people that made these mods, by the way. They are awesome, and none of us would be able to do anything with NR without all these creative people. I'm trying to do my part by... Uh, doing the content because I'm not very good at the other stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, then the other one is the Las Vegas track. If you want this, this one is mandatory. Uh, download that. Anyway, you get those things. Then you go into your downloads folder or wherever you put them. Boom. And you open them up. So first is the mod. Right click your NR2003 shortcut or go into... Your PC, Windows, Papyrus, and 2003, find your, your directory. Go into Series and drag that into your Series like this. Boom, I will replace mine so I can show you everything. Now double-click it and go into Cars. And I'm going to Control-A and delete all the cars. If you want to keep the 2022 cars that came with the mod, you can keep those if you want. I deleted them. Alright, now go into Richmond Clash if you got it. Control-A, Copy. And then, or you can drag them. And, uh, boom. We have all 45 of the Bush Class card pack thing. Um, wow. I didn't realize there was 45 of those. Interesting. Anyways. Um, now we, uh, are done with that. We can back out of that. Now let's go on your series thing. Go back to into your main NR2003 directory, go down to tracks, and then on your downloads, double click your Las Vegas and drag that file in. Boom. And uh, same thing, I'm going to replace mine just like uh, last time. Uh, no, this says 45 seconds. Holy crap. Oh, okay, that was not 45 seconds. All right, now open up your Las Vegas Spring. Scroll down to it, to where it says track. If you want a copy of the additional one, you can right-click it, copy and paste or whatever. Open up your track file, though. First thing, go to chassis type right here and change that to 1. That will give them lower horsepower, just like real life. Then I liked from my testing is to change the concrete grip down here to 30 and or 0 0.30 instead of 0.25 this seems to be the outside lane so making that more uh, will even out the lanes a little bit and give you some runs coming out of the corner just like real life all right those are the only two things you have to do in the track now you drop down to AI track Change the Excel modifier to 1.00. This will uh, be a def This is just their default Excel modifier. Grip modifier. Change this to a 1.18. What this will do is how let them have uh, more speed in the corners and uh, stuff like that. Drag modifier. Change this to a 0 0.82. This will give them more top speed on the straightaways. And then the wall offset, change that to a 20. What this does is allow them to bump draft without wrecking each other. Uh, bunching distance, change that to 1.2. And drafting distance to 1.2. This will let them draft closer together and uh, start restarts closer together so that there's some passing on restarts and all that crazy stuff. Panic decel, I put this to a 7.0 instead of the 5.0. What that does is allow the cars to uh, slam on the brakes a little harder to dodge wrecks instead of running into them in our style, which they probably still will sometimes. I mean, it's an old game. Anyway, AI D-Long Scale. I put this to a 1.0. Uh, what this seemed to do is to keep them a little bit closer in the corners um, instead of letting the lead car just take off like crazy. 
although the lead car still takes off a little bit. Um, but they do catch up as the draft comes in to play, and then the leader... So it's, it's like a rubber band. They spread out, they come back, they spread out, they come back. I don't know. Anyway, then we get the split squeeze percent. We change that to a 25 instead of 0.5. We change it to 0.25, and that's everything. File, save it, and close that out. Now, hit that button, hit that button. Now you're back at your... Uh, Directory, go down to Papai INI. In your Papai INI, find Speedway. Change this from 0 0.03 to a 0 0.12. Uh, excuse me. On um, this right here, change this to a 0. Uh, one, or from 0.13 to 0.26 for your arrow to arrow drag. Your engine to engine power, change it. Uh, to a 0 0.14 and chassis to traction 0 0.10 and uh, if you want to be like me you can also change the mecha mechanical failure chance here from a 12 to 0 0.6 so they have a half the chance they did in 2003 to blow up and stuff save it exit out get rid of all that now you're done with that now if you have n ratings Open end ratings. If you don't have any ratings and you want it, I have uh, right here a card and a link in the description on a tutorial on end ratings and all about that. Make sure you uh, find your uh, that it's linked to the right instance. Find the mod Ford uh, 2022 or whatever FCRD. Import ratings from real life data, and it will take a little bit to load. And pick 2024, which has the last two real races, and 2023, just to give you some more variants. Select all. Now, ratings to apply. If you want my even more realistic ratings, my Jones ratings here, you need to join my Discord link in the description below, and I will have it in there. Just ask me about it in the uh, Discord, and I will post it in there. And if you need any help, I will help you. Or you can use the Mass Graphics Cup. Which isn't bad, but what the Mass Graphics Cup will do is anybody who miss races will have their car stats lower for each race they missed. Mine does not do that. So, just saying. Alright, so, select all to both of these two. Pick the rating you want to apply. Uh, either Jones Ratings or Mass Graphics. Or you can get the Duper Ratings from... Uh, the Weebly website if you want those instead. But I think mine mine is based off Duper and then I kind of did some other stuff. So, then you hit apply. Hit create uh, roster. I'm going to name it 2024. And then save modified cars. And hit yes. And boom, we save the modified cars. And I think that's everything. We go into our NR. Oh, one thing that I like to do is make a fake car real quick if you're trying to watch the races. And I just name it a 999. That way all 36 of the other guys stay on there. So, boom. Alright. Single race. Make sure you pick the right track. And however many laps. 100% difficulty is what this was made for, but this should work for any difficulty that you want. Uh, there's only 36 cars in this roster and then we'll just jump into the race a few laps into the race and sometimes they'll wreck most of the time they won't it's pretty realistic and in fact this one's a little interesting after four laps the top three actually took off so that's interesting but they do usually spread out a little bit they should kept lap traffic around lap 30 just like real life and all sorts of stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. Stay tuned for more tutorials. And if you want to watch a full live stream of the Las Vegas race, I will do a simulation Las Vegas race. Full 267 laps, stages, and uh, double file restarts. All that good stuff. So just let me know in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you there. Join the Discord. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.